today we're going to do another taste test. These are Takis Blue Heat. Blue Heat. Hot chili pepper tortilla chips. Mm-hmm. Now, the thing is, um, I haven't had Takis before. I've had the... um. Oh, you have. The, uh, no, I had the Doritos. Oh. Um, I think I have one. Dynaman the Dynamantes, Dynamante, yeah. Dynamante, whatever. Those are amazing. I love them. Um, they will open up a can of, oh my goodness, on you. Now, me, I like spicy stuff. Um, I don't like it hot for no reason. Um, and the Dynamantes, those are amazing. These, never had any blue chips before, aside from, you know, blue corn chip tortilla kind of deals. They're but, actually uh, blue. Yeah. So anyway, let's just crack it open. Steered. They don't smell very good. They smell like glue. <laughs> That is, yeah, that is a little off-putting. It's probably a food coloring. That is a little off-putting. my milk ready just in case. All right. Let's dive into this here. <laughs> Look at this, it's very blue. And you can tell it's a, it's a yellow tortilla chip with blue, you know, with blue powdery on it. Yeah. So right. here we go. Tastes lime. Not bad. It's just very corny, if you know what I mean. Mm hmm. Yeah. They're just about the same to me as those other ones we had. Apparently. They're not as hot as the um as the Dorito brand. Yeah. These are good though. These are alright. Yeah, I thought I'd be like, I thought my mouth would be on fire or something, or I'd feel like they were gross, but. Yeah, no, these are good. These are all right. I like the blue. That's definitely a good novel look for them. Um, I, yeah, because like blue heat, fire. Yeah, but other than <laughs> that, there's nothing to write home about, you know, like it's, it's you know, you get to, you get to. Describe the flavor. It's one of those things that hits the edges of your tongue. Yeah. Right here in the taste buds, but um, I don't know where the taste buds are. I'm just saying. That's... But my whole mouth is on fire. Yeah. Like I had those Taco Bell fire chips, and those actually were like, and you know, I had to keep eating more and be. Like, mm. <laughs> they were really good, but my whole mouth felt like it was actually on fire. There is heat there, but the lime definitely offsets it. The lime is the first thing that's going to hit. The heat hits afterwards. Yeah. But like, I'm feeling it now. Like, my mouth is filling up. I'm pleasantly with surprised that it had lime in it because it didn't say anything about yeah. lime on it. But, um, no, yeah, no, I definitely like it. <clears throat> well, yeah, you heard it here first, or maybe you didn't. <laughs> maybe you didn't. But, um, yeah. Talky blue heat. Yeah. Two thumbs up. I'm going to give it a thumb. Uh, Rito's brand is definitely better. But these are good. I think they taste good if you crush them up and put them on something because we do that a lot with these kind of chips. Mm -hmm. Those are good. Um, the blue is definitely the novel look to it. Like, that's the selling point is that it's blue. Yeah. Um, but other than that, it's, it's good. It's fine. Nothing to write home about. You know, if I saw these in a store, I would pick them up just because they're blue and it's interesting. Mm -hmm. That's about it, guys. Hey, I just read on here. If made in a facility that may also use milk, eggs, wheat, and peanuts. So for all you peanutty, gluten-free people, don't eat these. <laughs> oh, it did say gluten? Well, wheat. Gluten. I don't know. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Um, again, the Doritos brand is definitely Tortino, Tostino, Doritos. The... <laughs> it's your YouTube channel. It's just very corny, if you know. Yeah, I thought I'd be like, I thought my mouth would be on fire. To me, I, I had to keep eating more and be. Like, <sighs> yeah. Right here in the taste buds.